I can eat some more. You better, because we just came from Tahoe Galby. We need a little bit more room, because now we're at Honey's Kettle. Fried chicken, right in the heart of Culver City. It's Movie delicious. land, we're right here. This is the studio. And eating land, let's get I inside. eat this stuff, and you come in with us. Let's go. And let's try the chicken. Chef Vinny, who has cooked more chicken, I'm told, in California than anyone else, and maybe the world. Am I correct? Well, I think so. I mean, I, I'd like somebody else to put their numbers up to mine. You know, Honey's got a great reputation, so what's the secret in regard to this wonderful chicken? How come it's so good? What we did, we in our research, we rediscovered the lost art of kettle fried chicken so that you can too. And what's the secret? The secret starts with love. Whoa. And then it starts with technique. We go and seek the finest ingredients that money can buy. And then there's this kettle, which we're going to see in a bit. Yeah. A famous kettle. Now, what else do you serve there? Well, we have a bakery where we do uh, mm -hmm. uh, sweet potato, apple, pecan pies. This we do uh, just, it's a gourmet style fried chicken restaurant. So it's like home cooking. Right. Where you don't have to do it. Well, it's like your grandma's cooking, you know? You want a good, solid American meal? You never ate my grandma's food. <laughs> let's go back in the chicken. All right. Let's okay, go back let's in the kitchen, that. and let's check Ralph out. Okay, we are with Chef Vinny. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, Ralph? Okay, what are, what are we going to cook here? Because we're in the kitchen. This is... Looks like it's hot stuff, so what, what's going on? What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our raw ingredient and we're going to do the kettle process. So we're going to take our bowl. Okay. Can I help you? Uh-huh, sure. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this fork and one. you're going to dip. Right. Yeah. You're going to dip and you're going to let it drip back into the thing. You shake it. This is the old-fashioned technique of well, kettle that looks cooking. that beautiful. Let's see. Let's try this guy. Okay. Chef, I'm, uh, I'm taking this chicken here. Uh-huh. And I'm going to get this, uh, the coating off a little bit. That's right. It's all in the wrist, huh? It's all in the wrist. You've okay. got perfect technique. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Uh-huh. And now into the kettle, huh? And, and move it around. There you I go. Like and I like the way you drop that you in there. like that little spin action No, there? No drips, no splash, no errors. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to let that cook for a few minutes. Yeah. The next step I'm going to show you yeah. is the technique of the kettle fork. We start with our, our instruments, okay? Yeah, I was just going to say, it's very musical in the back here. Okay, yeah, we like to have a lot of noise here. That's a fun so place. Every, it's, it, that's what it is. It's supposed to be You're a real lively... You're having as much fun as the customers. That's it. That's right. Okay, Ralph, so what we do now okay. is we reach down here with the fork. Yeah. And we bring up the like a grill, a grill like a grill. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And we lift it up, yeah. okay, and you see it cooking. I sure And then do. We, we knock it from the bottom, okay? Okay. And then that falls now, back now in. Gonna go. Now it's going to finish cooking, and we're going to get prepared. This is it in its finished form. Oh, Here, yeah, yeah. now I'm showing you the technique on how to bring that that product. You hear that? I sure do. It sounds crisp. And, and then what we're going to do is we're going to toss it. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to flip it over there, but it's so beautifully covered with that batter. That's got to be something secret about that. That's yeah? right. You're right. Uh, and you're talking about almost 90 years of a secret that is in that batter. Well, I won't tell anybody. There, there okay. you go. I can't, I can't switch it, but not today. <laughs> not with the chicken, huh? There you go. Okay. And then now you know what you do? Well, that's the best part. Chef Vinny, that was fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ralph. Let's take some of that fried chicken and try it out on Steve. Okay, let's do that. Okay, what else you got for us? Well, I got some ice shaker lemonade, and I'm going to show you a good fresh glass of lemonade. I'm going to start by, I'm going to get a good amount of ice in there, okay? Because the key to this lemonade is to chill it down properly. Okay. Ooh, baby, let's have some of this. Lemonade. Whoa. Lemonade. Just a little lemonade. Oh, you know, it's not even tart. It is very, very oh, it's delicious. Good. It's really lemony. Lots of lemons in it. You Sweet know? and lemony. Uh, well, this is Honey's Kettle, so I'm going to put some honey on my drumstick. And I'm going to put it on my biscuit that's freshly made. Yeah. Oh. Mm. You know, I never thought eating a biscuit in a box would taste so good. This is like homemade. This is the... Uh, Really crispy, really, really fresh chicken. And putting the honey on it? Well, what are you going to do? While you're talking, I mean. Oh, no. I'm going to have some more. Mm. 
Very good. Wow, what a day. Dinah's, then Tahoe Galbi, and now Honey's Kettle. What a day. You know, it was a great eat. We had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, different kinds of food. The smells were fantastic. Yeah. And you know, the nice part about it is you all can go out there and try them all. And you'll see us right there, right along with you, eating because we're on Cheap Eats. Ralph here, Steve there. See you next time.